Hey, how's it going y'all? Ben here and today I'm actually in my parents' house. My bathroom looks a little different if you've seen my other vlogs, but I'm at my parents' house because I just got back from dropping off my sister at work uh, because I mentioned previously in my last vlog that my parents are away in the motherland for about three weeks in the month of December. So um, on Fridays, I usually go drop off my sister. I give my brother a day off to chill. My sister can't drive because she has some motor deficits. Um, so it's safer for us to drive her to work. Um, so that's why I am here. But also my siblings are the, <laughs> I'm the only person in my family that's really ventured out of the family home. So I know how to live independently while my siblings have uh, my mom and my parents uh, who do a lot of like some of the everyday uh, day to day tasks. So um, nah, my siblings can't really cook that much. <laughs> So I thought today would be a great day to, um, after dropping off my sister to work, take my brother out grocery shopping and uh, teaching him like how to cook some really good basic meal prep that I make that's delicious, high in protein because he also lifts and um, that tastes good, stores well and tastes good. Th those are my things because I hate the fact, I hate the idea that meal prep has to taste bad. It doesn't. So our goal is to make some ground beef stroganoff today and some green curry, some green curry uh, um, shrimp. So we'll see, it'll probably go well. And I got up really early in the morning because apparently my sister's shifts on Friday are like super early. So I haven't brushed my teeth or gotten ready for the day yet, like gotten cute for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I wanna start off by saying that my parents like totally lied to me. They told me that I could uh, come here, live in their bedroom, their master bedroom, by the way, use the bathroom and everything. It'll be a super comfortable, amazing experience for me. And I don't think my parents realize that I've grown over the years and I'm much more of a neat freak. This place was really gross. Like the bathroom was super gross. I hated getting ready for the day in here. I know I look fine here. I was not fine. I'm not going to try and embarrass my parents by showing y'all how gross the sink was, but I'm going to really be honest here. The sink was gross, uh, there was, I was afraid to use their morning face wash to wash my face. Uh, I, w I was honestly uh, disgusted. <laughs> I'm sorry parents if you're watching this, uh, y'all need to, y'all need to grow up. Um, I can't believe my uh, med student working 12 hour shifts a day, state of being, is much more cleaner than this. Also, uh, there was like a whole bunch of clothes on the bed, so I don't even know how my parents thought I would be able to sleep on the bed. Um, but you know, I, I made do with what I had and I got ready for the day. I used my vitamin C serum, my hyaluronic acid, moisturized my face, put on my sunscreen. Everything was uh, doable, but I was not comfortable. So I will not be spending the night any time here while they're gone. So right now in this scene, I'm applying that sunscreen I bought in that last vlog because remember I mentioned that my previous sunscreen, it was excellent, it was amazing. But because it was a chemical sunscreen, it was burning my eyes at the end of the day if I applied the sunscreen on my forehead. So I was super excited to try this La Roche-Posay one, which was a mineral-based sunscreen. But uh, my bad, I totally did not buy the tinted version of the sunscreen. So you'll notice as I'm applying the sunscreen to my face, there's a bit of a bluish hue that... Um, comes into my face. It's not a white cast. I wouldn't say it's a white cast per se, but maybe it's because I have brown skin instead of black skin. But I've also noticed that it doesn't stay for long. So if I do have this bluish tint, it only stays for 10 minutes but goes away. But I really have to rub it into my face for that bluish tint to go away after 10 minutes. Another thing I will say uh, that I'm very happy that my eyes have not burned ever since I switched to this sunscreen. And I love the fact that it's SPF 50, so I'm gonna I'm getting that protection that I really wanted. And I don't think that slight bluish tint actually makes my face look all that bad. I do hate the fact that it makes me look a little bit lighter in skin tone. I do not want to give off the impression that I'm using skin lighteners. But since it's only for about 10 minutes and my face goes back to its usual skin tone, I'm okay with this. So after getting ready in the morning, I took my brother over to Kroger so we could go grocery shopping just because uh, Kroger was the closest place to my apartment. We also had to do all the cooking at my apartment 
about 15 miles away from my parents' home because my mom only keeps South Asian food ingredients at the house. Uh, so um, all the ingredients we needed to cook with was at my place conveniently and I didn't want my brother to spend money on buying ingredients so we went ahead and decided to go ahead and cook at my place. So while at Kroger I made sure to get all the ingredients we needed to make this uh, these two dishes. So I went ahead and grabbed onions uh, and then I went and got some mushrooms because you can't have a good stroganoff without some mushrooms. And then we slowly went over to the uh, fish aisle and got some shrimp because the green curry shrimp will need shrimp. And I grabbed the largest um, peeled and deveined shrimp I could get because I hate peeling and deveining shrimp. It's the biggest waste of my time. And one way I make stroganoff really easy to make and but tasty at the same time is I add some cream of mushroom soup to it. I learned it from a recipe from back in the day. And of course we got to get our sour cream to add that zesty tanginess to the stroganoff. And lastly, we got to get the Worcestershire sauce. Uh, it was according to the recipe to make a really good stroganoff. To be honest, I will probably never use this sauce ever again after making this recipe. So um, I got the cheapest Worcestershire so blah, 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 sauce <laughs> I could get. As soon as we got back to my apartment, we immediately started prepping the food to start cooking. And yes, you can already tell that my brother is at least a billion inches taller than me. Okay, we won't talk about that. Um, but uh, we worked really well together. This was our first time cooking together and we just div divvied up the tasks that we needed to do. My brother mostly worked on the stroganoff while I worked on the green curry shrimp dish. Um, I prepped all the minuscule ingredients together while he really worked on browning the, uh, the meat. And this was his first time ever cooking. So I'm really proud of him because he did a pretty, pretty good job. And you can already tell that while me and my brother are working away, doing hard labor to make sure everybody's fed in this house, my cat is going through our bags. Like, no self-respect or respect for us while we work so hard to get some delicious meals ready for us so that my brother and my sister have things to eat while I'm not home. Just because I'm so busy, I worry about them a lot. So I wanted to make sure that we made some really delicious dishes before I couldn't really interact with them for the rest of the week. So by this time, we were already done making the stroganoff. It is delicious. I mean, this is our first time ever making it, and it turned out fantastic, guys. Like, it was tangy, creamy, absolutely freaking delicious. I, I couldn't believe it. And then... Uh, the green curry is almost done. We just had to add the shrimp at the end. But then after adding the shrimp, all the dishes were done. And this is how much food we ended up making all together. It's a lot. And I am so proud of us. Uh, I ended up keeping one container of each because that is my consultation fee for doing all this labor for my siblings while also studying for med school, taking an elective, and uh, doing interviews. So I just think I deserve them. So I just grabbed two of these. <laughs> and put them aside and put them in my freezer before we were ready to go back home to our family home so I could pick up my sister from work. One last thing we had to do before though is I wanted my brother's opinion on a shot of Bombay Sapphire because I think this thing tastes like battery acid and I wanted to get his reaction on it because um, I bought this about six months ago and I still haven't finished it because of um, it is not that great honestly so uh, let's see let's see what he thinks. You know, take your time. You know, I'm not gonna tell you do it now. Just when you're ready, I'm okay, just, just just take the full shot. Yeah, just take the full shot. Oh yeah, that is battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that, that's that's battery acid, bro. Oh man. Yep, it's nasty. It destroys. Why me. does it actually taste blue? Like, I don't know why. It's got, like, a yeah. weird flavor that I can't like, quite put down. Huh. I did not realize that. Is it have, like, some weird juniper berry thing? There's some stuff left. There's okay. lemongrass in it. Uh-huh. That might be the lemongrass, then. Hey, y'all. So, I'm finally back in my parents' house. We spent about four hours um, this morning uh, just going to the grocery store, getting grocery supplies and cooking all that food with my brother. My brother gained some valuable skills on how to cook and do all that beautiful jazz. We came back to, to my parents' home. So we went to my apartment to go cook just because 
I have a lot of cooking supplies and cooking utensils and things to cook with because we made American and non South Asian dishes and my parents only really have um, ingredients to make South Asian food so I had all the seasoning and stuff at my place but we just thought why don't we just cook everything at my place come back here and store the food away so I'm really happy I'm really happy with the results and the amount of food that we made because uh, even though I live in the same city as my childhood home I don't really visit um, this part of town often because I live closer to downtown and my parents and siblings live closer to the burbs so this gives me a little bit of peace of mind that they're gonna have food for the next at least entrees for the next um two weeks while i'm you know working uh in downtown and you know living out of downtown and i can just come back next week the end of next week or the week after and just make another small batch of food for them and not have to worry about them running out of food because you know they need a little bit of assistance here and there uh, I'm gonna take a quick nap I have to pick up my sister from work uh, like uh, around in and around two hours so I'm gonna take a quick like 30 minute nap and then drive over to the gym right next to my sister's um, college where she works at and then pick her up afterwards and then finally I can go home chill with my cat John Luke John Luke loved my brother by the way I I'm, I'm kind of sad I didn't take any footage of that and my brother kind of likes him too he he, he, he doesn't want to admit it but I think he likes him so I um I just woke up from my nap and got ready for the gym and waking up was the hardest thing I've had to do all day but I think it just goes to show how freaking tired I am today I've been up since 6 45 you know, running back and forth across town from my apartment to my parents' place from like, it, like there's just been so many places to my sister's workplace that I've been doing. So, oh man, I'm so ready for this day to be over, but I know it's not even halfway done, but um, you know, we're gonna make it through y'all. We're gonna make it through. I'm really proud of myself for getting it this far. So um, and I'm gonna push myself to go to the gym regardless of how tired I am the one thing I gotta do oh my gosh y'all I finally made it home after getting my sister from work and taking her back to the childhood home then in rush hour by the way then in rush hour driving back to my apartment I am beyond beyond exhausted today it, I woke up at 6 45 and the day is still going and it's almost seven o'clock right now um, you know, um, but my sister and I had a great time. I picked her up and I was like, okay, so are you going to give me anything for like literally cooking you food for weeks and then picking you up from work? And she's like, yeah. So she took me to this really cute restaurant called um, uh, Oaxaca, Oaxaca Taqueria. And it's a taco restaurant, it's a taco place uh, named after the city of Oaxaca in Mexico. And it was delicious. I really enjoyed some of the tacos I got. Like I got the barbacoa and I got the carne asada. Both were super tender, super juicy. The barbacoa one was super fatty. Ah, delicious. And it was pretty. Oh, and they had the hand, uh, handmade corn tortillas, which I absolutely love. The king of my favorite restaurant, taco restaurants, is still La Pastorcita in Atlanta and El Rey del Taco in Atlanta. Those two taco places are the best taco places in Atlanta, but this one was pretty good for somewhere in the burbs in Duluth, Georgia. So, um, yeah, I really, really enjoy the tacos. I got one of their specialty tacos. It was the, uh, it was the, um, I think it's called, yeah, the fried chicken taco. And uh, texture was excellent. I think, like, making tacos out with fried chicken that you buy from the store or, like, from, um, Pollo Campero or um, even like even like churches, it it will taste really good. But this this one's particularly this was the most expensive taco, but the um, the fried chicken was like extra dry and it was very salty. So I didn't think it was worth the money the five five dollars for one taco. But the other two tacos were like three fifty each and they were fan fantastic. My sister had the quesadilla and she loved it too and. Um, the frit tortillas and salsa they were also pretty rad so all in all it was a great like after after a 12 hour day meal and for my sister she worked like at least nine hours that day uh, so 
Uh, I'm glad we got to treat ourselves a little bit and I am so so tired but I know I still have so much to do because uh, my brother and I when we first came back to this apartment to cook we just cooked we didn't really clean up so I have to clean up the kitchen tonight I have to shower because I pretty sure I reek after doing 12 hours of things and then also going to the gym and then I also have to do <laughs> I also have to do some Uber Eats deliveries so a question that I, I, I always like to add, answer some questions someone might have or have asked me in the past or some share some story at the end of my vlogs. And today I'm going to talk about how people all the time ask me, like, how do you find time to do everything that you do, including not just going to med school, but going to the gym? Like some people just don't find time to go to the gym or how do you, you know, how do you have time to cook? And if you've seen my schedule today, it's jam packed. And if you've seen my face right now, I'm tired. <laughs> I look very, very tired. And that's the thing. I make time for the things that I love and I enjoy. And for a lot of people, working, not, working out and cooking are not things that they like doing. So they're not going to go out of their way after at the end of a very tired and exhausting day to do these things. But these are things that keep me feel sane, give me purpose, like... Yes, I love being a medical student. I love being a clinician. I love being a researcher. I love talking to people. I love making vlogs. But there are little things in life that I really, really enjoy, and that's cooking and going to the gym. Uh, I also really like watching TV and movies, but they're all lower on my priority list than cooking and going to the gym. For most people that I've talked to, watching TV, relaxing on the couch, is higher on their tier list so I don't ever want anyone to feel ashamed for not having time to work out or cook if that's not your passion but these are things that are my passion so I guess my piece of advice is that no matter how busy or busy you are make always make time to do things that give you enjoyment in life because if my entire if I revolve my entire life around medicine I would not be a happy person also there are many people who are so invested in their careers they don't they don't invest any time in relationships uh, i'm not just talking about romantic relationships but friendships i make time out of my day to make sure that i talk to a, at least one friend i catch up with at least one friend even if it's through text i i make that effort no matter how busy i am and um you know i i have a romantic partner i make sure that i talk to her every day in some way or form check in on her make sure she's doing okay and uh, that's what i feel is my responsibility as someone who's really busy uh, to the people that value me in their lives so i think uh, i hope this helps you kind of understand like how i compartmentalize my day and how I'm willing to, regardless of how tired I am, I'm always willing to do things that I love. And I'm not gonna say this was easy for me to do. In the beginning, I was just so tired, I needed like two two hour naps. Like when I first started med school, I went to med school and then I came home and I slept for two hours and then it was nighttime and I had to study and I had nothing else. Uh, I had no time for anything in my day. And I, I don't really sacrifice sleep that much uh, I'm going to be really honest. I make sure I get at least six to eight hours every day. I don't I don't go with only like five or four hours. That only happens if it's an emergency or anything like that. So I guess my piece of advice is do what makes you content with life because this is what makes me content with life. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in to today's vlog and I hope uh, you enjoyed some of the things that I got to do and I hope you got enjoyed like seeing what I do with my family members when I do have time to spend with family. I love you all. Mwah. This is Ben.